This is the first of the uh, training series uh, for the Nikon D3200. The uh, first lesson is uh, learning the aperture priority mode. So first on the camera, you want to go ahead and dial the top dial, which is already set to aperture priority mode. Uh, normally, most people have the camera set to auto so all the settings are uh, set up for you for just a quick uh, snapshot but to kind of really learn the camera I suggest using the aperture priority mode so to select that just simply use the top dial and rotate all the way over to letter A so in aperture priority mode what that will do is that will control your aperture and then the camera automatically compensates so it adjusts your shutter speed. So we'll start off with your lens. With this lens we have a 35 millimeter f1.8 G lens. What that means, it means the uh, distance in uh, 35 millimeter terms, if it was a 35 millimeter full frame camera, that would be 35 millimeter would be the difference um, and then they also have uh, different lenses as well which is uh, we have uh, two that we're starting out with is a 35 millimeter f 1.8 and also a uh, 50 millimeter f 1.8 that's a good uh, way to start and uh, learn aperture priority mode so with that the number on the lens that's the lowest f-stop you can set so with the lower f-stop we have to learn what that means so for photographer terms we need to know what we need that for so what that most importantly is for is indoor shooting you'll notice most wedding photographers they'll have a zoom type lens they usually have like a 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens along with a 70 to 200 f 2.8 lens they'll need that lower f stop because that's going to gather more light in a uh, darkly lit situation say for example in a church where you can't use a flash or you have a big group of people and the flash won't uh, cover the big group you want to be able to have that lower f stop number so with this on this camera an f1.8 works really good because uh, the sensor is not full frame like say for example a nikon d800 or a canon 5d that's a full frame sensor so that will even take in a little bit more light this is a cropped frame sensor so that's basically 50% more or less light so it's a 1.5 crop factor so with the f1.8 uh, lens a good place to start with indoor shooting is f2.8 aperture then you could uh, have your ISO to 1600 and uh, that that seems like a pretty good starting point so just keep that kind of as a base number, F2.8, ISO of 1600. 